What's cracking guys, Blair here. We have a special video for today. My parents are in town down here in Montevallo, Alabama, and I will be taking them out in today's video on Lake Mitchell. You guys stay tuned. It should be a fun day. Waiting on my parents right now. I just got the boat hooked up. It's 4.50 in the morning. We're waking up real early because as has been pretty usual with my busy schedule in college, I have another meeting tonight. So we're trying to get some fishing in before that. Just got to plan accordingly. We're gonna have about six hours out there. So I'm excited to get out there. It's one of my favorite lakes on the Coosa River. Just know when I say I'm taking my parents fishing, it's probably gonna be my dad more than anything. My mom loves to take pictures. So we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we can get some good pictures for my mom. Hopefully we can get on that current bite when they do start running generators. Um, that's something huge down here in the south. All of these lakes aren't really lakes. You know, uh, for people who are watching this video that don't know where I'm from, I'm from Minnesota originally, if you couldn't tell by the accent already. So all my Minnesota peeps, I'm saying this for you. All of these lakes are current based. Uh, they run generators on either end of the lake. They're dammed on either end. So they're really just bodies of water between two dams on a river. That's what they call lakes down here. And all of the lakes really rely on that current to depend on whether that bite is really good or not. Um, and that's just from what I've seen. Right now, this time of year, a lot of the lakes drop down to what they call winter pool. So they'll drop like five, 10 feet of water um, just for what they call winter pool. And it makes it really tough because all that good structure is usually out of the water. It gives the fish less area to be. And this time of year, a lot of the grass, if there is grass on the lakes is dying and fish are moving off of it. So it's a crazy transition. Um, fortunately, we're pretty far through it right now. It's October 25th today. So we're pretty well into the fall transition. They should be setting up. Um, this has been a long intro, but I'm excited to get out there and see if we can't catch a few bass today with the parents. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's see what the good Lord has planned for us. Stay tuned, guys. Got a nice sunrise this morning. You guys are excited, ready? What's the thoughts? Tired. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's fair enough. Get on it. Oh They're spotted bass. Got him. Nope. That was pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Top water bite. Mom just saw these fish busting behind us and I knew I had to get on them. What do you think of that? Nice. That's a cool thing of down here this time of year. They start busting on shad like that, so. You can get little opportunities. You got to be quick, though. Here we go. He just kind of sucked it in. You didn't even hear that bite, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't even know I got bit. Buzz bait eaters this morning, guys. Long and lean. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a big one. Got it? 
Yeah, I just, I said, uh oh, because I saw, I turned it and saw a live scope just light up with fish on my jerk bait. No! You got one? Atta boy. <laughs> spotted dog. Hey, you show that thing off. There's one. Is that your first spotted bass? No, I've Did you? one before. Can you follow? All right. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Where did he where did he come from? Right out of the middle of the dock or I heard a little boosh or something and then mom said set the hook and set the hook. No. You just got bit again? They like that green pumpkin with the gold blade. I just made that up like kind of special for you. I've been meaning to make one up. I heard that. Was it a good one or same size? Yeah, just another little feisty one. I don't know how you didn't get bit on that cast. No, I meant right here with the little piece of wood. All right, round two with the jerk bait. There's a little nub with fish on it up here. Might be getting a little too close, but hopefully it'll still bite. There we go. Yep. You got one? Yep. Feels like he's hooked sideways. Oh, he's hooked all right. It's a better one. Mm. Don't jump. Don't jump. Stop. That's a little better one. Yeah, he got all three hooks that time. He was not coming off. That's what we like to see right there. Thank you. Thank you for looking out for my safety with these jerkbait hooks. That's the first time I've ever seen consistency to what I'm doing here. It wasn't, that one didn't sound very big, but still. He definitely should have. I saw that one come out of the tree. That was cool. Did, did you see that one eat it? Yeah, I seen it just a bit. That's crazy. My dad just missed one, and I think what's happening is he's just setting the hook a little too fast because he's had two missed opportunities on the buzz bait, decent fish. I just told him like, give him a second, let him swim with it, and a couple casts later, I had one come right out of this tree. It's been a really productive morning overall. Um, maybe a little more productive than I was even expecting, honestly. Um, we've had probably 10 bites now and put six of them in the boat. So there's been a little bit of an issue with capitalizing on, well, fish just missing the bait and I lost one. Um, Dad had a couple miss and I've had, I think, one miss too. So just need the fish to be a little nicer to us and we're gonna keep getting after it. It's been a fun morning though so far, getting to show my parents what Southern fishing is like, talking to them about how particular the casts have to be compared to fishing up north and, and stuff of that nature. But this morning's definitely been dominated by a buzz bait and a jerk bait. Nothing has really came off that Alabama rig yet, but hopefully um, we can get something going with that if we ever do find some busting on shad at some point today, so. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, there's just a little bluegill or something pecking on me.
No, nah, he's just saying the southern word for bluegill. Bram. Everybody calls him Bram. Yeah, up there, catch your mom named Bram. Or what, son? Catch you a couple head, a couple spotted bass. Yeah. Get yourself a big head, you be set for the day. I don't want that. I'm still learning like when's a good time to fish these things. I don't I think current's probably the biggest factor with these bluff walls and then after that is bait. But if you get like bait and current on it, then it's probably the best because it's Perfect thing for them to set up on. No, there's very little life, but I'm. Um, I just wanted to fish this, just, just so you guys could kind of see how we fish these things. Yeah, it's. I like it the the most when there's a little ripple and you just hear the water like bouncing off the side of the the rock. It makes this nice. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You could probably imagine. This water kind of splashing off. Like you got one? Look at there. There you go. Still got it. He's <laughs> back at it with the dinks. <laughs> Still got it. Can oh my it? goodness. Oh wow. God. That is a giant, Dad, I have to say. It did the right thing. That one saw it and came ripping up. Is it a nice one? Uh, no. Oh. I don't know for sure. It's bigger than one of them, but. Is it a largey? No, oh, that's a spotted bass. See how dark it is, Mom? Yeah. That's... We're doing a four fish picture, and that's a coal right there. All right, guys. <laughs> We got four of our fish today, just got done taking pictures. It was fun taking mom and dad out fishing, getting them on some spotted bass and some largemouth. Little buzzbait eaters. We're gonna release them now back into this little pocket. Beautiful fall colors. Heck yeah. Hey bud. Come here, mister. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> He might come do here, it again. Come here, come here. He's gonna go. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 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 They're so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. They're putting on a show for us. <laughs> cool, that was fun. Heck yeah. <laughs> that was I've never that seen that before. Funny. They did that two times in a row. Oh my yeah, gosh, that was funny. Six, six farmers. Now we're gonna go eat some food. Yeah. It's fun. Boom. Heck yeah. Fun day on the water. Doesn't always go that way, um, but we were able to catch some fish. Nothing big, as you guys saw. <clears throat> but hopefully you learned something from today's video. Enjoyed watching a couple Minnesotans come down and fish with their uh, younger Minnesotan. And uh, yeah, it's a fun day. Almost feel like I'm starting to figure something out with this southern fishing, but I know I still have a ton to learn. So that's why we keep doing this, getting out on the water fishing as many days as I can because I need every day of fishing that I can get to figure out these fish and compete against these southern boys so I appreciate you guys watching look forward to some more videos in the future thanks for watching guys really do appreciate it and I hope you guys if you are down south you're able to get out and go catch some bass this fall as you can see they're biting right now so appreciate it once again and we'll see you in the next one all right in today's episode we have a assessment from my parents of how southern fishing was compared to their expectations and how they thought the day went so i have absolutely no way of uh directing this so i'm gonna just let them start speaking and see where it goes mm -hmm.
Good luck. <laughs> what? Um, well, I think that it was very pretty, especially this morning when we got here. And the high bank walls of this place are really amazing. There's a lot more landscape in Alabama that I didn't realize existed. So I've been on a lake in Florida and we saw part of Lay Lake and it looks a little bit different than that. The fall color is really pretty. You can't tell as much with the sun shining, but um, it is really pretty. <clears throat> and there are less birds than I would have liked to see, but that's fine. The fishing was good. I got to get some pictures of fish. So, what do you think? Mr. Okay. Talkative over here. I'm the most talkative one here. <laughs> yeah, fishing was pretty good. I would say it's by far one of the better times I've been out. Down south. Down south. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's uh, it was beautiful scenery, beautiful chain here, or, or lake, whatever you want to call it. A lot of fun. It's always fun to explore new stuff and get to see some new water and try some new stuff. Stuff. So it's always fun coming down south because you never know what you're going to catch. It was a good day. Good mm -hmm. morning. What did you think about the bluff wall fishing? Was that kind of interesting, even though we didn't catch anything? No, that was crazy. The only part, the goofy part about that, I kept thinking of Lake of the Woods, walleye fishing. Oh, yeah? A lot of time we'd be right against the wall, fishing walleyes, you know, in the deeper water. So it was kind of weird casting right to the bluff wall and, mm -hmm. you know, fishing that instead of just taking a jig and going below the boat. But that was pretty cool. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Started out the morning throwing buzz baits too. What did you think about that buzz bait right there that I made up? <laughs> it was good. It worked awesome. <laughs> I liked it. Mm -hmm. He had a couple fish that didn't quite commit to it fully, but it's all right. It looks like you you lost part of your tail. Show the camera that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Rookie mistake. You should have should have put a new one on. I never even noticed that. Maybe that's why the last little bit here I wasn't catching anything. Your frog was swimming sideways. <laughs> Probably. Look at that beauty. Cool. Well, it was fun getting out. It was cold this morning. Uh huh. And I was bundled up like I was in Minnesota, stocking hat, mittens, everything. And now we're taking clothes off.